Okay guys, today we're going to be opening up a lot of cards. I'm going to be doing a uh, full retail review of Series uh, 1 from everything I could find. So, retail pack, fat pack, hanger, box, blaster, uh, the tin, and the uh, mega box. So, I'm going to be going in order from, I think, what is that retail valued, um, cheapest to most expensive. So, uh, retail, fat pack, hanger, then I believe the tin, the... Um, Blaster and then the Mega Box. Now the tin was twenty five dollars on Top's website, but I got this one for fifteen dollars at Walmart. So I'm gonna go off that. Um, none of these have the blue parallels though, because I believe the uh, tin is the only one I did find at Walmart. But I will. Uh, I'm sure most of you guys have seen the odds by now, so I'm not gonna run through those just to make it a little faster. Got a lot of cards open. We will start with the retail pack. So you can find this and are wondering uh, what you should get maybe this will help so let's get started we we'll have a lot of a uh, lot of cards after this that's for sure so we do have a chrome uh, the 52 got Devers that's just your retail pack so nothing uh, too big out of there Next is the fat pack. So we have the retail pack with 16 cards. Um, somewhere along in there. This is 40 cards. And uh, the retail pack, I think it's like 2 or $3. The fat pack would be like probably like $5.99 maybe. $5 or $6. Dollars. Looks like we do have a um, rainbow foil or something in the middle. a Luis Robert uh, rookie cup. Oh, we got a really short print. We do. So I opened a lot of this and only got one short print. Um, until now, this is my second one. I'm not sure if this is just the base or what. Um, the code on it is 230. Uh, I would have to look it up. I don't know off the top of my head what is what, but uh, it's Cal Ripken Jr. short print, so that is pretty cool either way. So not a bad start. There's the Dylan Carlson rookie card insert. There's a Nate Pearson. I'm trying to sort of keep everything together over here. So, so far we got a short print and a one rookie insert. So this is the hanger box. I believe these are now 11 or $12. Uh, oh, it looks like my little thing that holds it in place broke. So they might have been moving around in there more than they normally would. So, I believe this is uh, 67 cards. We're going the other way. Oh, we might have a chrome or something in the middle. It seems a little. Uh, thicker in there. There's a silver or a rainbow full. Nobody special, another one. So uh, there's a Joe Adele uh, insert rookie card. So we did not have anything in the middle like I thought we did. There's another Leash Robert uh, rookie cup. There's uh, Bobby Dalbeck, I know everybody was uh, big on him at the uh, during spring training. I'm not sure what he's doing now. Haven't heard as much about him. There's Joe Adele and Tyler Stevenson. There's Casey Mize. So 
getting Cisco Sanchez. It's getting more of the uh, bigger rookie names out of this hanger box than the rest of the stuff. So up next, we're going to do the uh, 10. This was $15 from Walmart, but Tops originally had them on their website uh, for $25. So depending on where you got it from, depending on your price on this, you are guaranteed. Uh, I already took it off the tin. It was like um, one chrome of the, the inserts. We'll get one. I'll show show you what it was like. There's another Joe Adele and Tyler Stevenson. Another Casey Mice. So yeah, I don't feel like turning these around. And this is what I was talking about, the uh, the Chrome card, Seven Years of Tops. We had Jackie Robinson, so that was pretty cool. This is uh, You can only get these in the 10s, the Seven Years of Tops. So that are the, they, those are the 10 exclusives for this year. And these you can just get, I think these are retail exclusives, but you can get these out of, uh, out of the regular retail formats. Okay, up oh, next we have the blaster. Oh, knocking the cards over. This will be uh, about $20. I'm not sure some places might have it like 21 or 22 now, but I got this for 20 I believe. Exclusive seven years patch cards. These can, I think, have autographs and be numbered, but normally it's nothing uh, too exciting in here. But let's go ahead and get started with the packs. Let's see if we can get a. We haven't got a numbered card yet. We did get a uh, short print, which is awesome, but uh, no uh, numbered cards. We have one of the. Uh, die cut cards. There's keyword release. I think that's just the uh, that's just the base. Uh, I don't, the card looks different to me for some reason. I'm gonna ride Mont Castle. That's the first one of those we've gotten. So we'll put him over to the side. After this, we still have uh, the Mega Box.
So we haven't got a lot of the, uh, what you would consider, I guess, the bigger rookies yet. We got a uh, Ryan Montcastle. We only got one of those out of, uh, of everything we opened. We only have three packs left in this blaster. And there's a uh, home run challenge, Rafael Devers. So he's been hot recently. So maybe I'll use that and he'll hit another one. And then there's the uh, the 52 Chrome. King Griffey Jr. Insert. And this is our last pack of the blaster, and we go into the mega box. So we do have a rainbow fall in here. It is uh, Seth Lugo. So, last but not least, we have the Mega Box 256 total cards that this way. It's going to be a long video. I think I'm already at about 12 minutes. So, I'm sure it'll end up being longer than 20 with my longer videos. Try to go through these a little bit faster than normal. Well, that is uh, different. I don't know if I've ever seen a card back to back like that at the beginning of a pack. They got minus C twice. Um, so that's uh, maybe a good sign, maybe a bad sign. Would have been uh, cool if it was one of the um, better rookies. There's a Nick Madrigal, Alec Bone. So this is the first Alec Bone we've got out of all the uh, cards we have. There's Ian Anderson. Oh, I forgot that this was a Target exclusive. I was like, I've, I haven't seen this insert yet. It's Cody Bellinger uh, highlights insert. It's only in the Target Mega Boxes, I think. So that's the first time I've seen it. I've opened other, I've opened blasters from Target, and I haven't seen any of those. There's another Bobby Dalback. Still no numbered cards, so that'll tell you how. There's Joe Adele. Show you how tough it is to uh, pull numbered cards this year. We have gotten quite a few of these Chrome cards. This one's a rookie this time, Joey. Uh, Joey Bart, and we do have Alec Bohm of the non-Chrome one. Carlson. 
I don't think we've got a Dylan Carlson base one yet. I think we'd probably get one out of here since there's over 200 cards. Although the checklist is 300 and something, so there's still a chance we don't. There's Christian Pache, I believe that's the first one of him we've gotten today. Oh, we do get a numbered card, and it's a rookie. I believe. Yeah, Tristan McKenzie, numbered to 499. I guess this is considered the green ice or something. So we went on a bit of a cold streak there, but we did get a pretty nice parallel. Then we have a Cody Bellinger highlights. So you might want a different name than the rookie, but any rookie uh, parallels nice, especially a numbered card. Like, and it's Joey Bart, so not doing too bad this time around with the um, parallels. We'll take that. It's pretty off center, left to right, but um, guess that is tops for you. challenge card Freddie Freeman so it's pretty cool so we did end up with two of those out of all the cards we opened I think we have six packs left oh another number card so this is a gold um, Nick Senzel so not a rookie but um we went from no numbered cards to two in the uh, Mega Box. And a pretty nice rainbow ball. And there's uh, Joey Bart and Dylan Carlson. It's the first time we uh, gotten them in base cards, I believe. Well, that would have been nice if that rainbow ball was a Dylan Carlson, because he is uh, next in the sequence normally. So we're just one off. more packs to go in and I'll do a quick recap. Another home run challenge, Joey Gallo. So I thought these were just like one, well actually not even one a box and we got two. So I guess we'd be the odds on that, not necessarily what you would hope to be the odds on. But um, got three packs left. Just be insert actually, I think it is. Yeah, the Ichiro uh, rookie card insert. So two more packs to go. Joey Bart uh, insert. So, yeah, a lot of cards, but not a lot of, of value. So, I mean, if you're, unless you're hoping for a miracle number card, which are a lot harder to pull this year, I suggest you probably want to buy your singles. But these are the insert of the better rookies Carlson, Bohm, uh, Bart Chrome. Uh, well, I just added the regular Chromes in here too. Molina, Strasburg, the Jackie Robinson, 10 exclusive. This is just a uh, rainbow fall. Don't know how to put that over here. And a Devers Chrome. Then just the rookies I had put to the side. We didn't get a whole lot. I honestly thought we'd get more of the the big guys. Like I think this is the only Carlson, the only Pache. Got a few Joey, uh, Joe Dells, and uh, Bobby Dalback. I think this might be the only Alec Bohm and only Ryan Montcastle. Um, and then the two Joe Dell and Dylan Carlson inserts. 
We did get a couple number cards out of the last uh, bit. We got a Nick Senzel gold. Oh. Gold card. Uh, we did get two rookie parallels. So we got a Joey Bart um, rainbow foil and a Tristan McKenzie out of uh, $4.99. I think it's Green Ice. Not actually sure the name of it. And we got a Cal Ripken uh, Jr. short print. So it wasn't completely terrible, but definitely um, don't get your value back on this, at least for this break. I'm sure there's some people that pull some amazing cards, but um, yeah, I'll suggest buy your singles unless you just want to rip something to open something like I did. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. That's going to be it.